Rocky is back and so are we as exhibition is about to get underway. The Panthers will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. Scrum ensues along the boards. Boston's got the puck. Florida's got possession here in the offensive zone. Made the stop on that play. Boston's got the puck along the wall. The Panthers gain possession. Florida's gained possession. Moves it to Ekblad. Florida's got the puck in the defensive end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Shot! Oh, he got all that! What a save! Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. McAvoy's got the puck in his own zone. Quick feed to Wenberg. Feeds it over to McAvoy. Boston's on the attack. The Panthers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Passes over to Hepaniemi. And now it's grabbed by Pasternak. Slides the puck over. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Fabry's got it along the wing. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Boston's got it in the neutral zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Scooped up along the wall by McAvoy. Tries to feed it over to Hunt. Here's a chance! Denies him! He got all of it! We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Still scoreless in this one. Tyler's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Kovalik's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. The Bruins start with the puck in their own end. The Panthers have it now. And that clamps off the iron. A huge opportunity there, James, to get the go-ahead goal in this game. You know what that does? It creates a ton of momentum. But the pipe drops it. Bellows plays the puck. Shot! And they score! Well, with a delayed penalty, they get their opponent running around, James, and they wind up scoring. So that's going to nullify their power play. But it doesn't really matter. They got one on that one. Very effective. Well, it takes hard work in the intangibles to get available for a one-timer in that low slot area. You know it's going to be a grind. You're going to have to fight for your space. He does a great job of it and buries it home. The Bruins are first to light the lamp tonight. Let's see where it goes from here. Well, there's been some back-and-forth action, and you have to believe that sometimes when there's one, there's more to come. Slides the puck to Mitchell. Moves it over to Haig. Great pressure to force the turnover by Carrier. Mitchell's lugging the puck. Slides it across to Bellows. Broken up at center by Montour. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. And that's offside, stopping the play. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. The Panthers win the faceoff at center. Florida's through center and now in the offensive end. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Goals recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Boston's got the win off that draw. The Panthers gain control of the puck. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. There's the whistle, we've got it offside. More than half the period left to play. We've got a one nothing hockey game thus far. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. Ten seconds left. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. Kubalik's penalty is almost expired. The Panthers' man advantage comes to an end and not the result they were looking for, giving up a shorty. Sometimes when you're on a power play, you can get caught cheating. And I think you have a lot more 
more time than you do, and it winds up in the back of their net. That's a tough one. Boston's got it in their own zone. And now he moves it quickly to Hunt. Boston's got the puck against the boards. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Florida's got it in their own zone. And he slides it quickly to Tynan. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Fabry's got it deep in the offensive end. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Pasternak's good at picking his spots with his snipe zone ability. When the puck is flat and settled, his shots become laser beams. And that's a star defender on his team's blue line. I'm expecting one of these two players to be the biggest impact for their team tonight. Back to you guys. Here's a short pass to Carlo. And he takes the dish. And now he moves it to McAvoy. Grabs control of it at the point. Makes the save as he got a blocker on it. Picking up some steam at center ice. And that's poked away. Quick pass to Denisenko. And he comes up with a stop there. Now a quick pass to Montour. Tried to put it in the side and missed. Well, there's a recognition that he didn't have much room. Gets a little bit fine and just misses wide. Oh, it's denied by Gustav. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Poked away in the offensive end. The Bruins have it now. With possession along the wall. Centering pass. And that's blocked in front. Picked up along the wall by McAvoy. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Montour. The Panthers have been stealing pucks all game, and when you intercept passes and you find ways to get your sticks in lanes, you typically find a way to possess the puck, but they've got to open it up here. This game's awfully tight. Gaining steam here on the attack. Puts it on net. Comes up with the stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Because that's dialed in and able to redirect that puck to the corner. Ekblad's moving the puck through his own zone. Moves it to the middle. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Here in the later stages of this period, we got a one nothing game at this point. Martinick's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Makes the glove stop. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. The Panthers have had a lot to like about their game so far here in the first, but yet they still trail in period one. Florida's got the puck inside the offensive zone. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Jabs the puck away. And he's knocked off the puck there. And he takes the feed. Boston's got him along the wall. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Gets the puck over to Verhage. The Panthers gain possession along the wall. And that's off target as it hits a body. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Chatfield. Takes the return feed. Receives the pass. Kerslake's got the puck. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. No room for that one to get through. Florida's looking to break out. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, He certainly looks frustrated after letting that goal in, James. It's almost like a fielder in baseball. If you touch it, you should be able to stop it. And then he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. Hey, a lot of people excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all-time great rock acts from the 80s getting set to play here for these fans. We'll catch our breath back to Portland. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. A tightly contested 20 minutes to start. Let's see if this continues here in the second. 
Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Bruins are lucky that this game is tied, James. I mean, they've had the minority of the shots. They really haven't found a way to get to the interior of the ice. They're going to have to pay the price somewhere if they want to get some shots and make this game a game. Great defensive effort with the stick. Knocked away. Taken along the wall by Pasternak. And he hangs on to the puck. Takes the puck at the point. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save. He gloved that one. I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then he finds it, and he makes a save. Lots of time left in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Bellows wins possession in the defensive zone. Dishes it to Fabry. Moves it to Lindholm. Fabry's got it against the boards. Passes it to Verhage. And now he angles it across to Hepaniemi. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. And he makes the save on that play. Hepaniemi's got it across the line. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there. Hold on a second, James. There's going to be a call on this as you see the official signaling a penalty. Nice zone entry on the left side. The Bruins have the puck in the corner. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Let's see what the officials are calling. Carrier's going off to the box for two minutes. to make something happen. Sends a pass over. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Puck slid down the ice. And he handles a cross-ice pass. Directs it on over to Wimber. Pass stolen in the open ice. The Bruins have it against the wall. And he can't hang on after that hit. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Boston's going on the attack as they gain the zone. On the backhand, stones him in front. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. He doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Bellows knows he can keep the play alive for his team when he goes after those 50-50 puck battles, guys. His no-contest zone ability means he usually comes up with control and manufactures chances for his team. And he takes a shot. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Oh, and he slowed him up, and the official's right there all over it. Let's get the call here. Kovacevic's stick work has resulted in a two-minute penalty for hooking. Winbergs won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Drives to the sweet spot. so well to take advantage of that opportunity. Man, does he ever make this goal look easy, James, and it is tougher than it looks, trust me. That puck is elevated, it's in the air, so your timing with your stick to be able to make contact and enough force to put that thing in the net, it ain't easy. The Bruins have gone in front by one here in the second period. Yeah, and it certainly changes the mindset when you're ahead by one in a very close deadlock game, James. Now they got to push the pace, put the pedal to the metal, and try and figure out a way to cash in again. Picked off by Hepaniemi. We got a penalty coming up here. Quick feed to Verhage. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, they have the lead, and now they've taken a penalty, so now they're going to be back on their heels. That power play's going to come out. You know they're going to be smelling and tasting blood, James. The PK unit, they've got to be the task. Simple stop by Jones. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. 
The Panthers win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. Trying to get it out of their own end. And he moves the puck across the blue line out of the defensive zone. And that banks off a stick. And he slides it quickly to Chatfield. Makes the save. The Panthers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Takes the feed. Slides it across. Oh, what a close save by Jones. We know the goaltender was set to this position, square to the shooter, to be able to make that glove save. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Boston's got the puck after winning the defensive zone face-off. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Florida's got a hold of the puck now. Pass in front, and that's intercepted. Great use of the stick at center by Montour. Slides the puck across to Ekblad. Dennis Sinkos crossed the line and gained the zone. The Bruins gained possession of the defensive zone. McAvoy's almost out of the box. The Bruins looking against the half wall. And a big kill keeps the one goal lead intact. We're back to even strength. Denies him! Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. This has been dialed in right from puck drop, James. I mean, he's made the key save that he's need to make, and it's all about for a tender managing the momentum swings of the game, and the timeliness of the saves have really given his team an opportunity. Past the midway mark in this period, the Bruins are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. And it's a quick pass to Dubé. Boston's crossed the line and on the attack. Along the half wall with the puck. Fires it! Oh, how did he get a piece of that? And another stop! Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. The Bruins continue to lead in the second. They have been the busier team in the shot department, and as a result, they lead. Puck scooped up by Ekblad. Oh, the thievery coming up with the puck on the play. And a strong effort on that play. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Puck picked up by Carlo. Here's a short pass to Tube. They go on the attack through center. Moves it to the middle. What a chance, but that goes off target off a body in front. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Ekblad's taking it from his own end. Through center along the wing. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Martin Hook's such a great player, James. He's got great hands and insight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one and he gets lost in it. Now he takes it over the line. Takes a shot. Oh, solid save by Jones. Shooter gets lost in the coverage and really quiet in the weeds of the ice here, James, as the puck's below the goal line. You can see him moving to make himself available. And right, right when the time is right, that distribution comes right to him. Puck on his stick. He lets it go for the tally. Here in the late going to the frame, it's all tied up. The Panthers get a hold of the puck off the draw. Patan stick handling in his own zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a chance, sends it in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Passes on over to Bellows. He carries the puck up along the wing, and they cough it up in the neutral zone. Second period nearly in the books here. Sends the pass over. The Bruins carry it along the wall. Quick pass to Fabry. What a steal in his own end. And now he tries to get it across to Patan. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports. And we've got a third period just around the corner.
And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Well, time to find out who wants this one more as we are underway in the third. And now he passes up to Tube. Here's a chance. Oh, and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front. We're still in the early stages of this period. We got a tie game. Florida's won the draw. Picked up along the boards by Ekblad. Looking for space inside the D zone. The Bruins take possession here in the open ice. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. Loses his balance on the play. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Juve is going to play it to the corner. And that's a great heads up play by Ekblad. Boston's got the puck. Lindholm's got it in the defensive end. Juve's going to play it against the half wall. Shot! Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. Florida's got it in the defensive zone. Takes the feed. Feeds it to Lindholm. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. Takes the pass. Fabry's been quiet tonight and hasn't contributed offensively, and this is a problem for his team who relies on their star sniper. But this game's still close. He's got to find a way to get his game and get back on track. Huge steal in his own end. Ekblad's got the puck in his own zone. Taken by McAvoy. And the puck's booted away. And he takes the feed. Moves it to the middle. And that goes off a stick and off target. Fires it. Oh, it goes off the glove and he keeps it out. to the neutral zone. The Panthers gain possession. Puck grab by Ekblad. Carrier's got it in the offensive zone. That's a great heads up play to break up the pass. Florida's got the puck along the wall. The Panthers gain the zone. Shuts down a great scoring chance there. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Clock is dropped and we are back underway. Musa quickly over to Chatfield. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Kubalik. And a beautiful save by the goaltender. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the face-off. Florida's going to start with the puck in their own end. Passes it over to Carrier. Look out, here they come on the attack. Love side save. And now he moves it quickly to Mitchell. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Battle along the boards. Tosses it on to Patan. Boston's got possession here in the offensive zone. Quick shot. Oh, what a save as he gets that one, too. Oh, man, he's so dialed in. Makes consecutive save. Oh, scores! And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now about building off of that good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now, it's on the line. Well, he fought for position to find this puck on his backhand, James. He's running out of real estate, but he was able to put it through and find the netting.
Boston's got to be feeling confident right now with the time remaining, Cheryl. A one with that kind of time remaining. You know you got the game in your hands, but you have to be able to close it out. You know how you do that? You find a way to get the puck, and you have to manage it. Takes the return feed, and he slides it quickly to Sarasati. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. Answered the call on that play. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Florida's gained possession along the boards. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Boston's got the puck. Pushes it across to Sirisati. Moves the puck back inside his own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Kerslake's got it along the wing. Shot! That's off a stick. Florida's got it across the line. He's got a step! close game and you know it's the third period and the next goal is pivotal and you want that one back certainly if you're the shooter slides the puck ahead to Fabry moves it to Martin and just got a piece of it to keep it out up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area and that's taken by the defense Sometimes when you're winning, you get overconfident and try and overhandle the puck, and this is what follows, a turnover. Coach isn't gonna be very happy. You gotta game manage, you gotta puck manage, and you gotta make sure you make the correct play. Sometimes simple is better. Standing by Carlin Bade with her own thoughts on the head-to-head -head matchup tonight. The x has been buzzing, and he's been rewarded here. His name in the box score proves he's had a strong head. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. They've got numbers here. Moves it in front. And it turns off a twig in front of the net. The Panthers played along the wing. Great positioning in the defensive end. Florida's goalie is on the bench. The extra attacker has jumped into the play. Takes the puck behind the net. And into the wide open cage. It's an empty net goal. Well, and a sigh of relief as well, as it's a real insurance mark. You, you put it in the empty cage and you don't ice it, that's a good thing. You can see the emotion on everyone on the ice as that empty netter went in. That's an insurance marker, and that's going to be the game. The Bruins with that empty netter should seal the deal here, barring a complete, absolute, epic disaster, right? I would say that, James, and, and that was perfectly executed, I might oh add. The God. empty netter, that's the only time I'd ever get one. But when you look at that and the lead that they now have, it would have to be disastrous to give it up. There's the horn, and that's the hockey game. Boston's win tonight, a direct result of special team, Cheryl. Yeah, and this PK unit really gave him a shot in the arm or a boost, if you will, James. I mean, yeah. it's one thing to kill the penalty off. It's another to get a quality scoring chance and convert on it. Great night of action on the ice, and I can't wait to do it again. I know you can't wait either, so we'll see you next time. And real soon, then.